What's up guys? My name is Moretta from PNW Bettas and I'm finally back with another video on my YouTube channel and we're gonna be getting some work done and trying out some pressurized CO2. So I have this CO2 tank sitting in front of me. It's a five pound tank and I have my regulator and a bunch of other stuff somewhere else. And we're basically gonna be setting this up on my six gallon high tech cube, which used to have DIY CO2. Unfortunately, that kind of went boom in the worst way possible. <laughs> uh, it quite literally exploded. Um, I haven't put anything back on it until now. And I just figured I would actually invest in a solid pressurized system. So that is what we are working on. Now, unfortunately on this tank, since there hasn't been any sort of CO2 on it, and I just haven't really done a whole lot with it. I've just done a couple water changes here and there. It has kind of gone a little bit left to grow algae. And it's just really not been well kept. It's it's a fine tank, it's cycled, it's a great little home for my little fish, but it's not quite where I want it to be and what I had in mind for that tank, so I'm really hoping that once I get the CO2 back on it and I do some maintenance, it's gonna really um, start to come together. So I'm definitely a total newbie when it comes to CO2. <laughs> I've never done pressurized and I've done a little bit of DIY with varying levels of success. Uh, it worked before it exploded and then the yeast and sugar just really wasn't working that well for me. So I thought once <laughs> that DIY system stopped working, I'd just go for pressurized. And uh, that's kind of why you guys are here today because I'm a newbie and I'm just gonna be kind of messing around with it and trying to set it up on my tank. So that's, that's what we're doing today. The first thing to do today is gonna be working on this tank a little bit and just getting it a little nicer looking, dealing with some algae, doing a water change. I have lots of algae to clean. Um, I'd like to just get that out of the way first before we start messing around with the CO2. So that is what I'm gonna start with. Um, let's let's really just get into it. Oh, sorry, one more thing. I would love to introduce Squiggles to you guys. He's this little yellow fishy who's been swimming around. Um, this is his tank. <laughs> Last time I posted a video of my fish, I, I did not have him yet. Um, but he is a homebred little yellow fancy from a friend of mine. Um, and I picked him out to go into this tank um, and he is so cute. So Squiggles is just gonna be chilling with us today while we work on his tank and making it look just a little bit nicer. Um, not that it isn't nice already, but I think it could be spruced up a little bit. Squiggles, you're gonna be ready for us to kind of be poking around in there? He's unsure. We'll see how this goes, buddy. Yeah, that's probably fair. So there we go. <laughs> the tank has been cleaned up just a little bit. Um, it's not really all that different. I just kind of trimmed everything, cleaned the glass, um, and removed some of the algae and duckweed and stuff like that. So um, I think we're ready to start messing around with the CO2 and getting that all set up. Okay, so to get this starting to be set up, we have my lovely regulator that I would like to attach onto the tank. And I did come with one of these little guys, which I do believe I'm supposed to use. So we're gonna do that. Uh, and I believe this part's pretty simple. You just kind of screw that on there. 
Um, and I'm probably gonna have to go find some tools to get this a little bit more secure because I don't have anything in here. Oh, hey, it's mostly on. Well, I'm gonna go grab a tool and tighten that a little bit more, but this is kind of what we have going. I think this is correct as far as I know. And we are going to move on to setting up the, I do need to find my drop checker at some point and stick that in the tank, but we have the bubble counter slash check valve that came with it. So I'm gonna open this up. This is an Aquatech something. Oh, or you can have it as a clip. Do I want it clipped or do I want it suction cupped? I think we'll suction cup it. Okay, I moved the camera so you can kind of see what I'm doing, but it's not really <laughs> a very good shot. I have heard, I guess I've heard like mixed things about people using airline tubing. Some people saying you shouldn't or you should or you should do something else, but I don't know. I'm gonna use airline tubing if I can get this on. Well, maybe I can't use airline tubing. <laughs> Cause I wanna make sure it doesn't just pop off or do something funky. It's a little bit. Tricky. So now we'll thread this on to here. I think that can just go on there, right? And this thing screws it on. Okay, so it's later in the evening. I just went out <laughs> and bought a wrench and tightened this thing. And I think I'm just gonna set it up. Okay, so here we go. Uh, I think I'm just gonna stick this in the tank, really. Um, I have this thing, it's been soaking for probably like an hour now. So it should be ready to go into the tank and start diffusing, hopefully. That's the goal, <laughs> if everything works properly. Alrighty, this is hard to do with my hands, but <laughs> we'll just get that underneath the flow of the filter stuck in there. I think that's good. So I have it hooked up as best as I understand um, with a drop checker and the check valve goes down to here and I guess uh, I have the salon unplugged in the next step is just to open this up um, which I don't know if I can do with one hand but then we're gonna see if I can get it diffusing and been working properly so it's even later and I didn't film a lot of that very sorry I was basically just sending photos and videos back and forth with um, a friend of mine from TikTok who has this regulator which is helping me figure it out but here's what we got so regulator is set up things are running it is hooked up to a timer the solenoid so i will be able to time it with the lights which is the plan that's what i did with my diy setup before it went kaboom um which this hopefully should not do that um so we have everything going through there's the drop checker i'm just starting it off really slow since i haven't really done pressurized co2 before and i haven't had co2 on this tank for a while that goes into my little cheapo diffuser, which kind of goes into the flow of the filter. Um, and it seems to be working out okay. Uh, I have a drop checker, which I've, I have I wanted to put on this side, but I'm using the little stick to balance it right now because the suction cup keeps coming off. So that's kind of help, helping hold it in place. Um, but I'm really just going to be checking on this tank every like half an hour-ish until I go to bed, and the, which the lights will go off, the CO2 will go off too. Um, just to make sure, I know this thing takes a while, to update so we're basically just gonna be checking on my little fishy who is somewhere in this tank i literally just saw him <laughs> oh there he is i forgot about this but i also brought down my little mirror in hopes that we could get um squiggles to to flare for us because he's quite cute when he's angry so we'll see if we can catch his eye there we go <laughs> He's so cute when he's mad and he's got the zoomies. Um, but I just use this cheapo little mirror from Dollar Tree, which is starting to rust. I should probably replace that. But I just get to stick this in here and see his cute little flares. <laughs> he 
Here is the final product on the six gallon high-tech cube.